Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of gas laws. Now the combined gas law approach is the way I use to teach all of the gas laws. I think it's more reasonable to learn all of them at once and just know what conditions are constant during each different scenario. So here's the combined gas law. Know this, okay? It's important. Can you guys hear my dog snoring in the background? Okay, so PV over T equals PV over T. Um, now, if we look at the same temperature, T1 equals T2, it's Boyle's Law. The way you can remember that is water boils at the same temperature. If it's the same pressure, pressure is held constant, then it's Charles's law. And then finally, if it's constant volume, it's Gay Lussac's law. The laws are after the arrows. So Boyle's Law, Charles' Law, okay? So Avogadro's principle allows us to look at the fact that uh, equal volumes of gases contain equal numbers of moles, provided they are measured at the same temperature and pressure. Um, so basically what we're able to do from this is look at the standard or the balanced equation and use Avogadro's principle to look at volume in the same manner that we look at uh, moles. So the standard conditions that this is done at is right there, one atmosphere of pressure, 273.15 degrees Kelvin, and an average volume of 22.4 liters. So as a result, one mole of gas for most gases is equal to that much. All right. Then there's the ideal gas law. So this is a more general law, um, PV equals NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is moles, R is the ideal gas law, and uh, T is the temperature in Kelvin. All right. We'll talk about partial pressures uh, later in Raoult's law and um, Dalton's law. There's also um, Graham's Law, which allows us to look at the fusion rate of different gases compared to each other based on their masses. Okay, But I think for now, as far as an introduction goes, I think we've done good enough. All right, So make sure you check out the second half to this video where we go into a little bit more detail in the where we go into more detail of the partial pressures and mole fractions and uh, look at Dalton's law to calculate total pressure using the sum of the partial pressures and a few other things, okay? Uh, there will also be example videos for each one of these different concepts I've gone over here so make sure you check it out. Also make sure you check out the manometer videos, there's going to be one for the open-ended manometers and then a separate video for the closed-ended uh, manometer. Alright, I hope I've clarified any doubts you might have for gases. Make sure you check out the example videos. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.